we need to model up a type of 5C collet. So today we're going to show how we model the collet, and next week we're going to tackle a print for a 5C arbor for this Hardinge mill. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. So I am lazy. Uh, I could find a print, I'm sure, for a 5C collet, but I wanted to figure out if there's a way to avoid reinventing the wheel here. So sure enough, I went to GrabCAD, searched for 5C collet, and found this guy. I downloaded for free you know, the SolidWorks file. I uploaded into Fusion, and this is what we get. So let's walk through what we need to do right now. A couple of really important things. First thing to do, and this is so frustrating, but right click, capture design history. If you don't do that, nothing you do will be captured parametrically uh, along the timeline here in the bottom. It's a really frustrating thing. I wish you didn't have to do it, but um, I haven't prevailed in my battle to get them to change that default. So now I'm gonna put my body in a component, right click, create components from bodies, and I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it factory, 5C. My screen just went full screen, which I just learned is Control F. Oops, that work. Control Shift F. There we go. Control Shift F toggles to full screen, which is not what I wanted while we're doing our screen recording. But here's the thing: the print for this uh, arbor that we'll go over next week has a 5C, but it's not your typical 5C. Um, it's sort of like a solid 5C. So we need to get this thing redone without these slots and holes and so forth. So right click new component call NYC CNC 5C how many C's is that if you've not used the project command just sit down and enjoy it. this is awesome P for project and I want to click on the plane it's right oh actually I can't click on it right there <clears throat> so what project does is we're working on a plane that's bisecting this um, Call it. So it's kind of running straight up and down through it. Uh, let's see where I can show you. You know, this little rectangle, it's hard to see. This guy right here. So when I start clicking things from the side view, like here, 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 and here, it took that geometry and showed where does it intersect. See how I've created that plane or that line of all that stuff? That's exactly what I want. Now it gets a little bit complicated because you've got these three slots, which mean, as you saw, I couldn't come all the way down here because there's a gap and this is a curve and I can't even actually pick. If I pick that, it doesn't give me this curve here. No worries. I think I've got enough that's projected. So I'm gonna click OK. And I'm going to turn off the light bulb for the factory collet. So now all that I see is a bunch of purple lines that are in my component, my NYC CNC collet, but they're still linked back to the factory one, which is great. L for line, and I'm just going to start dragging. So if I go over to here, I wanted to intersect that thing. So if I let it snap to and come up, I get a zero degree line. I can come down to here, over to here. See, I'm just filling stuff in. Um, this to this might work. We may need to clean that up. And I want a center line from here all the way through. Don't even worry about trimming that up. So now I've got half of the collet, and that's all I need. Keyboard shortcut S brings up this little pop-up quick thing to search, REV for revolve. Click revolve. What is the profile that I want to revolve? It's this, 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 and this. What's the axis I want to revolve it around? This guy. Click OK. We're almost done. That's the majority of the work. How awesome is that? So I don't like that this is two separate things, so let's fix that. Right click, edit, delete that. Can't delete it, so delete this, delete that. L for line, just do a line straight from here to here. That makes that one s continuous thing. Stop sketch, we're good. Um, the threads, I pulled up a, um, I did pull up a print. It looks like the threads on a 5C are 
238 by 20 right hand. Someone tell me if this is the right way to do this. I'm going to, first off, switch to inches. And I'll go create thread. So 1.238 is not 1.25, but that's the only option I got. And um, 20 threads per inch is correct, right hand. So I'll click on here, and that gives me the exterior threads. As a note, we normally don't model cosmetic or threads. We leave them cosmetic. So they're here. They're modeled here. I could always right click, edit, and just uncheck model. Then you'll see them. Uh, they exist, but they're not interfering with your CAD model. Uh, and that's actually all we need to do. We've now created our 5C. And if we kind of toggle them two back and forth, you can see we got it. I think that's a pretty awesome way uh, to, do, to make stuff and to leverage off. There's such an awesome repository, whether it's GrabCAD or Thingiverse or even importing files from McMaster Car. Use the project tool. Uh, don't reinvent the wheel. Pretty cool, folks. Hope you enjoyed, and if you do enjoy, please click subscribe, comment, and thumbs up, and definitely stick around for next week. We're going to finish up this arbor. Take care, folks. See you next Friday. Mm -hmm.